Yes. So, the Harmon has had several owners before it was acquired by George Gordon Brown Leaf, 1812-1887. In 1855, Mr. Leaf, a wealthy Irish-born Scottish immigrant, settled his family on the land because of its proximity to the, the privilege of the British upper class establishment in the Hamilton area. Its rolling hills and gentle streams brought back emotional memories of the Scottish landscape. He built a large stone house with limestone quarried from the property. The least used the Hermitage as a summer residence and spent the winters in either Hamilton or Scotland. Eleanor Alma Dick, I think that, what is that, Louder? I think it's Louder. I'm louder, sure. the only one of the five Leaf children to be born in Canada, was a, devoted to her family's home even after its destruction by a fire in 1934, as I mentioned earlier. She built a modest house within the ruins and lived there alone till her death in 1942, which I mentioned earlier. Um, ruins of the Harmonage found on the Headwaters Trail are all the remain of the graceful splendor of the Leaf Estate. The Gatehouse Museum, part of the original state, housed the gatekeeper and his family. It now exhibits the artifacts. Um, what's that? Uh, my lights. Excavated. Excavated from the, my light was shining on it from the ruins, which tell the story of the Leaf family. You go ahead. I'm gonna read it. You're gonna read it. Yeah. Just I let it. That was pretty good. I thought that was loud enough that your fans could see her too. At least it's a clear sky. So this is. I think it was the town of Hamilton or the Hamilton um, uh, conservation area spent almost six hundred thousand. Really. On this property and re redoing this stuff. Yes, um, I I did read that. This, like I said to, like I said a few minutes ago before you got here, um, mm. this was taken apart brick by brick, brick by brick, and put to, put back together. Probably just an animal. That was a goose. What did you hear? Yeah. Probably a raccoon. So this this was falling apart. Yeah, I hear coyotes. Yeah. So this was falling apart. And in order to preserve it, and each stone is limestone, quarried from this property. In the background, you may be able to hear the coyotes. <laughs> kind of creepy. But so they took apart every single brick. They numbered them, um, put up some... Uh, what am I wanting to say? They put up some steel support beams and then put the the bricks back identical to how they were. It's absolutely incredible. I can only imagine what it was like to live here. Just massive. Stunning. And they do say that the gentleman that fell in love with the daughter, or the niece, I think it's the niece, he hung himself and it was either in the barn or the tree, a tree, and he had said that he, he still he still haunts haunts the grounds now, looking for his he upper class, his loved. I guess the father um, didn't approve, and he was in love with her. I don't know. Was he in love with them? 
I don't, I didn't read if she was or not. He was in love with her. I'm assuming that she was. But the uncle said no. Yeah, I thought it was the father that said no. Could have been a father. Could have yeah. been an uncle. Yeah, could have been. See, I read uncle. So, okay. But you read. Own uncle. So, whatever. It could have been a father. Been Who knows? Whoever he was with. <laughs> he wasn't upper class enough. So, he ended up killing himself. From what I read, it was behind the house. There was a barn or something like that. And he killed himself in the barn. And I guess Otto went looking for him and found him. And um, I guess, I don't know, I might be wrong on this, but I heard something along the lines of because he killed himself, he wasn't allowed to have a proper burial. He wasn't, yeah, correct. And so they, he ended up burying him on, somewhere on the grounds. Somewhere else on the grounds. Uh, I think it's, it, I think in the area where, where it's called the Hamilton Lover's Lane, could be. Something the road just over there is... And you know what, guys? What I'll do is I'll put it in the description. Yeah. Um, I'll be putting it in the description as well. I'll put it in well. the description and I'll do that, the whole story. I just, uh, I just don't want to get into the whole story. But paranormal-wise, we are looking for William Black and Alma. Eleanor Alma. Eleanor they, When I was reading, they never gave Eleanor. They only no. gave Alma. Yeah, same. So I mean, it's interesting information. to read. So, but this place is absolutely... Now, do you it's think this, this was all the way down there? Oh, for sure. Because there well, was supposedly a barn. I think the barn is probably... The barn was down behind. Behind somewhere. So, like, here's a path. And that's where... That's where um, Mr. William Black decided to hang himself. Or a tree. Was it a tree? It was either a tree or the barn. I, I don't... thought it was a barn. See, I was reading different you know, different websites, right? Yeah. Well, you're always going to get conflicting stories, right? Exactly. So, this place is absolutely incredible. One place I do want to go to, I want to, I want to go to the train station. To where? The train station? Yeah. I want to get it. You know, I'm thinking this is probably it right here. Because look, you got that small little window there. See, it's hard to tell. It depends on how big the actual I don't think it would house back was. Far. You think it would be this close to the barn, though? Well, it did say it was in the back. Yeah, it was in the back of the mansion. And yeah, I guess back in those that days. That seems like a door there, right there. That would seem like there would be a This door would have been a door, yeah. So I'm See, but they don't have a sign. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Well, I guess they don't want people to know the, the bad stuff about this place, right? No, but they could say barn. Yeah. <laughs> You know? I'm just going to go over here for a minute. What? I'm just going to go over here for a minute. Wow. Just to see what's over here. Yeah. Just wanting to explore a little. Interesting, I hear music. Why is it every time I come out, I hear music? It's so weird, guys. Every time I come out, I hear music. Okay, I want to do a, an intro. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Amy Stone. This is Stone Path Paranormal. Tonight, traveled all the way from like a 90 minute drive. It's currently 1 a.m. and we're at this like incredible ruins here in Ontario that is reportedly haunted. People have seen shadow figures and everything else. So yeah, it burned down in 1934. So the 
the final owner of the property. She actually remained. She built the tent or something until they built a, a home for her within the property. And that's why we're here today. We're going to do some investigating. Hopefully we'll get some, we'll capture some evidence. There's some other outbuildings, so we might be making this into a two-parter. We'll see. Anyway, let's get at it because ugh, time's ticking and I still got an hour and a half drive home. So yeah, let's, let's rock and roll, guys. An Eleanor or a William. I have this device in my hand. See that? I hear talking. We've gone dark. There's other people here. You can see. You can see the light. Should we scare that crap out of them? Ready? So there's just other kids here. Turn your light off. No, I'm gonna turn it back on. That's what I said. I love freaking it out. There's some, there's some kids over there and we're like, okay. Did you hear them? Yeah. <laughs> freaking out right now. Yeah. I think they're scared. They might be. I think they took off. I can hear them. They're like, guys, guys, guys. Well, I was about to do the necrophonic app. <laughs> okay, so you can probably hear the voices. Yeah. Of the kids, definitely. guys. There's some teens that are yeah, it's a bunch of teenagers. out and about wreaking you havoc. Hear voices. Oh, for sure. So that's funny, guys. So there's some like teens out there, and they're like, you know, they're gonna get in trouble, whatever. His name is DJ. DJ. Oh, DJ. Gallons. Mm -hmm. DJ Gallons. So look him up. <laughs> I think they're drunk, which is totally cool. Whatever. They're just out wreaking havoc upon the world, like the rest of us, right? They may, you know what? They may know where. The place, different places are. Not they may, places. but I don't want to find out. That's true. They sound, uh, they sound arrogant and cocky. Uh, yeah, and drunk. And drunk, probably. Or okay, so drunk. let's uh, get this going. My name's Amy. My name's Brian. Your name's Amy? Cool. Your name is Amy. My name's Brian. <laughs> We'd like to speak to a William or an Eleanor. If you're here, let us know. You can speak into this device. Tell us that you're here. We're just doing the next and one. Tell us where you're standing, if you're standing around us, or what's going on. Okay. 
So again, tell us your name. Okay, so why isn't this hooked up now? Okay, it was working before. Why is it not working now? Do you like Do you like Rome in the lands? What is your name? Oh, what was that? I could have sworn I heard something right there. What was there. that? Shh. What is your name? Oh, what was that? I heard something there. Oh, sorry. What is your name? Did you hear it? What was I that? Heard it the first time too, eh? That was. What is your name? Yeah. It wasn't these guys. No, no, no. definitely yeah. not. Can you, hear? you can hear it in the. It's almost like it's in the background. Okay, walk, walk away. Walk what away. is your name? Wait a minute. The lands. What is your name? That was weird. That is weird. It's like a squeaky sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is your name? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know what, what that is. is. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. Like a wine. Yeah. Actually, you know what? So, was there any kids here? I think there's a story that I remember um, when people are up at Lover's Lane that they hear a moaning. Oh. I do remember hearing that. And moaning around here, too. That almost sounds like a moan. Mm hmm It was because it was like a... Uh. That was weird. Listen. I'm in the lands. What is your name? I don't know what that is. That's scary. That's nobody here. Dog. What is your name? It wasn't these guys? Like, behind no, you? No, it definitely I wasn't. I think so. They're much louder than that. True. Hence? What is your name? I don't, it's saying something. I can't hear what it's saying. I'll have to listen to it Lance? a lot more closely. Lance? What is your name? That's weird. Did it that say Lance? I thought oh, right. I said Lance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that heard someone say Lance. I'm in the Lance? What is your name? That is really weird. Yeah, it was like That's a, no uh -oh. be around here. Yeah, it was like a, uh-uh. Yeah, it was weird. What That's awesome. What kind of other, like, not rituals, I guess, but... Little things that what? you can do to hear or see or feel. Like or oh, I picked up just, like, with my phone. Listen, like, I didn't think I... Went to a ghost road and in Port Perry, and I thought I had caught nothing. And then I was going through the footage just for the hell of it, and mm -hmm. I was listening, and I actually got... A well, we female voice that the, said something like, don't worry about it. Guys. Something like that. Yeah, it was like, and it came right through the, my actual, <laughs> just my <laughs> camera. Oh, really? It wasn't yeah. me. I, I'm sorry. I, I did a ghost fart right now. What is your name? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to kill him. What's your name? I'm sorry. I have sorry. no idea what that is, but that's something. That's awesome. It's literally like a wine or a moan. So that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. That was great. So, okay. other than that, I think we're going to move on. You yeah. want to go to the, find the train station? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think so. So, yeah. there's a train station over here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where it is. Thank you very much Just for everything. Take that. Thank you so much. Thank you. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. It was great meeting you. Go subscribe. I will. We're going to keep up. It was great we'll meeting you all. Keep up with us. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. We will be yeah. watching your YouTube. Yeah. Do we have to say anything? Like, end it off? We're good, do you think? Whatever you want. Like, do we have to close it off with anything? For anything just say goodbye. Us. Don't don't follow goodbye, us. Do not follow just goodbye. Just say goodbye. 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 Just, all you have to say, say is, say, you listen, have to say be here. we came here. We've come to respect you. You respect yes. us. Mm -hmm. Please do not follow us home. Do not attach yourself to any of our equipment. You have to stay here. That's it. Yeah. Stay here. There's four of us in one house. Ooh. We don't need it. Do not come with, <laughs> yeah, not come with us. I love the spirits. Oh. I love you all. <laughs> Please don't come with us. I'm your friend. I mean no harm. <laughs> I bring positive energy.
Positive is good. Thank you guys so it's much. Tell them you also brought weed, so if they... <laughs> yeah. No, but is positive energy not what you want to bring to them? Oh, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, and that's you, why I, I said... Definitely don't want to. Yeah, Go have very fun. Nice. Oh, thank very you so nice much. meeting you all. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, have fun. Dying. See you like... Yo, good luck. We'll see you You're very welcome. YouTube. Yeah, we'll definitely. see you on YouTube. Yeah, say hi. Thank you. Yes, comment. Hey, how you doing? Okay, guys. Well, that was fun. I can't believe it got that voice. I do question it, whether it was that Gregory guy. The guy that was standing, sitting beside me? The stone guy. Yeah, no, I thought so too, but it definitely didn't sound like him. So, um, unfortunately, if, he, uh, if there was something here, I'm sure it's gone by now. It was yeah. very loud. It was, yeah, so loud. It was very nice, but very loud. It was very drunk. And we weren't going to catch anything, what? I'm very drunk. Yeah, well, no, I think they were very stoned. Actually, they yes. So was mine. That was weird. Okay, guys. So we just had. You know what? I'm gonna put you down for a minute. Here. Okay, guys. So. We've been here for a little while. A group of young people, teens, whatever. Really awesome group of kids. Uh, they came along ghost hunting. Yeah, they were hilarious. Voice. No. Brian thinks he heard a man's voice. I'm going to listen to it again now that we're by ourselves. Maybe I'll get a better... Nah, go ask, <laughs> ask a question. Maybe I'll get a better... Is there... Yeah, my app. I tried it. I don't know how to try it again. What is your name? Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's that's Radiant? completely weird. Radiant? Do you like Do you like Rome in the Lands? What is your name? Yeah, that's yeah, not anybody that's, no. that was here. That's really, really super strange. Well, we did. Sound like we definitely caught something. Let me turn on this. Hands. What is your name? That is really, really weird. Lance. What is your name? Roman the Lance. And there's actually a whisper too. Do you, do you keep hearing something over there? Yeah, I do. What is Beautiful. your name? I'm gonna I'm gonna play this again, guys, and I want you to hear it over the, the microphone. Okay. Rome in the lands. What Beautiful. is your name? Yeah, I don't know what that is. That is really, really weird. What Beautiful. is your name? Yeah, that's uh, definitely caught something there. So, let's turn on the Necrophonic app again. You ask it a bunch of questions. I'm definitely hearing something. Look at your K2s going off. Yeah. We come in peace. We don't mean to harm. We're just curious. There's somebody near us. I have shivers. Yeah. You can come forward. Let us know that you're here. Like Amy said, we mean you no harm. We come in peace. We want to respect you. And please respect us. If you can come forward and talk into this device, that would be awesome like you did earlier. And if you can show yourself. Tell us your name. Is it okay that we're standing here? No. No. I heard no, but I also heard maybe. Beyond. What's beyond? Leave. What do you mean by beyond? 
Please leave. Hear that? Please leave. You know what? We want to leave. We will leave. But we would like we would like to see you. Can you show us to your can you show can you show yourself to us? Please. If you come forward and show yourself, we will leave. We mean you no harm. Can you show yourself? Can you tell us where you're standing? Back. 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 Are you back there? Are you back there? Can you see us? Can, can you see us? Can you say my name? What is my name? Do you know my name? Can you say Brian? Say it then. Say Brian. That sounded like it just said it there. It just sounded like it just said Brian. Is there an Eleanor here? Sure. Is there a William here? Is William with us right now? Is, wi is William with us? William, can you come forward? Is his name William? For sure. It's William Black. Eleanor, can you come forward? Yes. Where are you standing right now? Are you are you by the wall or are you in the back? Are you in the forest? No. Nope. Don't be scared of the lights. Worried. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to see you. If you come forward and show us. What was that? That was weird. Show yourself to us, then we'll leave. That, that was, that was, that was, uh, that said run. Run? Leave. Why do you want us to run? Why do you want us to run? Are we in danger? Yeah. What are we in danger from? Who's going to hurt us? Who's going to hurt us? Who's that? Your, your gun? Is William going to hurt us? Is, is, is Eleanor going to hurt us? What about, what about animals? What? I get that. I get out. That was definitely I, I get I would get out. I have shivers. Why? Why get out? Do you speak nice and clear so we can hear? Can you show yourself to us? Yes. 
I, no. Listen. So I'm assuming it said no and listen because it wants us to listen and it's saying no because it can't show us. Why can't you show yourself to us? How many how many spirits are with us right now? That sounded like it said four. Four. So tell us one of the name of the four. Goodbye. No. Who are the voices that we hear? Yeah. I heard something just right over there. Goodbye. I just heard something right over there. Jesus. It is, you know what, I like... Like it's 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 creepy, mm -hmm. but and it's a little unsettling. But I feel like nothing's really going to be. I don't think it's it's bad. No, I. Agree. I don't. I don't I get a bad vibe. I think if there's the vibe that I get is that there's quite possibly, if not probably, other people here, like the kids. Yeah. Well, why don't we, um, why don't we go to the, you want to stay here longer or you want to go to the Griffin House? Let's go to Griffin House. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we are going to go to the Griffin House. This is an, it's another park. I don't know yeah. a lot about the Griffin House, to be honest. Yeah, so we're, like so, Brian said, we're going to head over to the Griffin House. Do you know anything house. about the Griffin House? I don't know, but I can Google it. Yeah, so Let's what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Griffin House. I'm going to so, put you guys on pause while so I look it's up be a little bit of a the walk. Griffin House. And so, then I'll um, get back to you. I think we're pretty well done here. I'm on 46% um, battery. We definitely got some answers on the that necrophonic app. We got a voice. On yeah, we got the some a pretty voice crazy. Recorder. Hopefully we caught something. I don't know what that but is. you know what's really funny too? We never even really talked about it. Is the speaker falling off the wall? That's right. I want to know about that. So. Um, any spirit that's here, Alma, if you're here, or Eleanor, or whatever your name is, if you can just speak into my camera, microphone, did somebody push off my little, so it's a little black is, speaker. Even though there was a lot of noise going on, I'm hoping maybe we heard it being pushed off the wall. I'm hoping. Off the ledge, because if it did, my mic would have definitely picked it up. I'm hoping that my mic got it. I'm asking so right now. I'm absolutely amazed about this place. Beautiful. And the work and the craftsmanship of putting each and every stone the stonemason back. Stonemasonry is just beautiful here. Yeah. So like I was saying earlier, guys, the the um, each stone was taken apart and put back in its place. And this is all limestone. And as we all know, limestone is a conductor for spirits. Limestone and water, and there is a pond nearby. Yeah, I'm hoping we definitely, maybe we caught something, maybe when I had my camera down, we might have caught something. This, this place is just phenomenal, like, like the craftsmanship. It's amazing. You can actually see a star through that one. Wow, I thought I just saw some. Thought I just saw something over there. Move. You know what? That's why I went over there and pointed over there because I thought I saw something. Really? Like right here, I thought it looked like a shadow person. Like oh, right a person. here, I, saw, I th thought I saw something over there. Yeah, I thought I saw a person. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about in this area right here. You were uh, talking like, by the wood? Well, like by that path. That's right oh, there. okay. This place is incredible. I would definitely, I'll definitely, definitely come back. back to this place. 
when we have a little bit more time. <laughs> so we're heading to the Griffin House, which is was built in 1827 and taken over by an African American uh, freed slave, and now it offered um, underground railroad safety, and it's a museum now. So we're gonna go find that before we take the long drive home. <laughs> We'll get home at some point tomorrow morning, or this morning. I can't see a thing right now. But I'm gonna put you guys on pause so I can save my battery and my memory card, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.